Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast for January 17th through the 23rd. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, you may stumble upon this video outside of the dates I mentioned. Don't you worry. You found it whenever you were meant to hear the messages. Keep in mind that this is a reading for the general collective. Therefore, not every single message is going to resonate, but take what does and leave what doesn't. So without further ado, let's connect here and see what messages are coming up for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Alrighty, my dears. We do have the full moon in Cancer on the 17th, so we'll see if anything comes up around how those energies may be affecting the Taurus Collective. The first card coming up here is the Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to move this just a little bit closer. The Nine of Pentacles is a card that can come up when we are gaining a lot of attention. Like people are noticing us or we're on the radar. People are seeing that we're making improvements. They're seeing that we're making progress in life. The Nine of Pentacles is also a card that comes up to indicate uh, like financial improvement, financial independence. Maybe a lot of you are feeling kind of stuck right now in that you're in a situation you would like to leave, whether you're feeling stuck in a relationship for financial reasons or you're feeling stuck in a living situation for financial reasons um, and you're like, I can't leave because I can't make it on my own. So whatever blocks that you have had that are maybe hindering your financial independence, you might find that you're releasing these in this full moon energy that's coming in. You're releasing the blocks and the limited beliefs that have been holding you back or the resentments. Sometimes we get stuck in a living situation or in a relationship because we're bound by cords of resentment. And so some of you might be finding that all of a sudden you're healing or releasing certain resentments that are keeping you trapped in a situation or blocking your abundance or limiting your abundance. Uh, one more thing I want to say about the Nine of Pentacles. Sometimes I see this card come up in my readings over the years reading for people where maybe in the past career and work has been very shaky for you. You felt like you couldn't hold down a job or you just felt like you're going to get fired or you tried to do something with a business that didn't work out. And the nine of pentacles comes in with the message that this lady here on this card, the reason why she's so successful is that she has mastered her anxiety. That's one of the meanings of the Nine of Pentacles. When you see the Rider Waite Tarot and you see the lady and she has the bird on her hand, that bird is supposed to represent anxiety and like just the wild thoughts that run through our head and distract us from making progress. So maybe you weren't able to succeed in a job because you were having a lot of problems in your personal life or you were having this you know, crippling self-esteem issues and uh, uh, you just were constantly afraid that you're going to mess up and you're going to make a mistake and people don't like you and that was making you nervous and it was making you mess up more. You just were not able to focus on the task at hand. But now you may be releasing those things that have been holding you back, releasing those fears, getting control of the anxiety, getting control of like that self-judgment. And now you're able to focus and to succeed and to have the financial uh, success coming in. So you might be picking up something you had tried in the past that didn't work out because now you're ready to focus on it. Whether it's like going back into work after a long period of not working or saying, okay, I'm ready to try to climb up the career ladder now or I'm ready to give this business, this self-employment another try. It didn't work out in the past, but now you may be finding that you're in a better mental and emotional place to where you're like, now I'm ready to take this on. The next card that's coming up for Taurus is the hanged man now this is a card a lot of people don't like to see 
um, because they feel like it basically means that nothing is happening and things are to stand still. And that's not necessarily what this card is about. First and foremost, we have to remind ourselves that this is a major arcana card. And the major arcana cards come up when we're at a significant life lesson or a significant crossroad. The situation that we're dealing with is directly connected with what we came here to learn, what we came here to accomplish, what we came here to master. And so it's it's a special time. It's an important time in our life. So the hanged man is not necessarily about nothing happening. The hanged man comes in when spirit is helping us to see a situation from the bigger picture. There's something that we may be missing about the situation and spirit is helping us to awaken to that. Also, another aspect of this is one of the things that we might be realizing is we've been making unnecessary sacrifices. Sometimes the hangman comes up when we're realizing that we've been making sacrifices that are not necessary, or we've been making our decisions based on limited beliefs that are not even true. Okay. And so there's a sense of awakening with this card, awakening, seeing through the illusion, seeing the bigger picture, seeing the truth. And I heard the word epiphanies three times. So don't be surprised, Taurus, if a lot of you have some epiphanies uh, in this coming week or these revelations, uh, personal revelations, where all of a sudden you're seeing things clearly or you're seeing through uh, somebody else's lies, or you're seeing through a situation where you thought you were stuck, but you're really not stuck. You're seeing a solution where what you thought was a problem, like you're finding a way to uh, turn it in your favor for some of you. I'm getting that feeling and the vibe here from the hanged man. The next card that's coming up for Taurus is the Two of Pentacles. Now the Two of Pentacles, okay, is a card that can come up when we have a lot going on. Busy, busy energy. And we might be feeling really overwhelmed, okay? This may especially be true for those of you who your Nine of Pentacles is focusing on starting some kind of a business or self-employment. Maybe you're working a regular job and you're trying to get a business off the ground, right? Or whatever it might be, going to school, um, you know, family obligations, whatever it might be. You might have a lot on your plate, Taurus, and this might be a very busy time for you. Um, I feel a strong energy of like self-improvement, like uh, bettering yourself, bettering the quality of your life, bettering your circumstances. Um, I feel like a lot of you are like wanting to be healthier, uh, and it's not, it's not only about like the new year thing, I like, oh, new year's resolution, blah, 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 you know, people get into that, but I want to remind you guys that when it comes to being healthier, uh, don't go to the extremes where it's not being healthy. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, there was, a uh, uh, like a gym, a boot camp thing I was doing for a while, uh, a couple of years ago. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, you look so great. Oh my gosh, you look so wonderful. Uh, but it was like excessive. And like we would have these weigh-ins and we'd have to like meet a certain weigh-in or there was like a financial consequence. And, and they were telling us like to drink these uh, uh, teas and stuff that like make you go to the bathroom. And it was just really unhealthy, right? It was just like really, oh my gosh, the way is and way is coming. Oh my gosh. And you're like, you're going to be off by a pound. So you better, you better work out three times a day. You better work out, you know, four hours a, a, a day up until the weigh in and you better drink that tea and you don't want to be off by a pound and you know have to pay the consequence. And it was just, it was insane. Like that wasn't healthy right? That was like the other extreme. And the owner of that gym or the owner of that program who claimed to be a doctor uh, passed away from steroid use very recently. So uh, people have like this thing where they're like, oh, I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to work out. I'm going to work out. But you still want to do it like in, in a natural way and in a reasonable way, right? Especially if you have kids and you're working full time or you're going to school, you need to do it in a balanced way. It's not good to push yourself 
if you're like sleep deprived, right? You want to balance in the stuff, maybe a shorter workout and some sleep, right? You have, you have to keep things in balance. So the two of pentacles sometimes comes up when we're pushing too hard and spirit is saying, try to make it enjoyable, right? If you're feeling stressed out or overwhelmed at work, focus on one thing at a time. Don't freak yourself out and say, oh my gosh, I have 10 more things in my inbox. Just focus on that one thing. Focus on one thing at a time. And then when it comes to the other stuff, make it enjoyable. Oh, I get to work on my business when I get off uh, of work today. I'm, I'm going to, you know, make it something that you're enjoying. Go into it with a spirit of joy. I'm going to treat myself uh, to a workout. I'm going to do something for my health and to like be grounded and to be in my body. Don't come into it with the spirit of like punishment or in a spirit of like, I got to hustle. I got to grind. I got to push harder. That's, that's not going to do you any good, right? Two of pentacles sometimes comes up when we're pushing too hard. Two of pentacles also reminds us to get outside of our head. Some of you are pushing too hard because you want to win the favor of others. And we might not even be on their mind that they're worried about themselves. So, you know, don't be too much inside of your head worried about what other people are thinking or how they're viewing you or how they're seeing you. And whatever you're doing, try to focus on one task at a time and try to do it with the spirit of joy. It'll make it go by much faster and help bring the stress down. Otherwise, Taurus, a lot of you run the risk of getting really stressed out and really overwhelmed and burning out. And so I feel like Spirit is trying to help you to avoid burnout with this message this week. Interestingly enough, your next card here is the Queen of Swords, right? Now, traditionally speaking, a lot of the times the court cards are seen as another person coming into the situation. Uh, and so, or it could be an aspect of yourself, right? But it, traditionally, court cards are seen as people. Uh, so this could be air sign, a uh, Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Uh, and a lot of people are used to watching tarot as it comes to love and reading situations. But in the weekly forecasts, I want to focus on you and I want it to be about you and your journey. So the characteristics of the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is somebody who has suffered a lot. And some of you Taurus might say, oh, well, yeah, I resonate with that. I sure have suffered in my life. She's somebody who has suffered a lot, but she's gotten to the point where she's tired of suffering and she sees what needs to be improved about her life and what needs to be done. And she's ready to do it. And she's sick and tired of people getting in the way of that or distracting her or telling her, no, you shouldn't do that. You should do this, right? Um, or criticizing what she's doing. Some of you Taurus are coming out of uh, that ditch in life where you were stuck for a while and you finally pulled yourself out and now you're hearing criticisms from people. Oh, why did you do this? Oh, why did you do that? Oh, why did you go into that work? Why didn't you do this instead? Nobody said anything when you were trying to come out. Nobody wanted to help you. Nobody reached down and, and helped you and pulled you out while you were trying to crawl out. But now that you're out, they want to criticize how you got out of it. Queen of Swords doesn't have time for that. She doesn't want to hear it. Queen of Swords is like, you either make yourself useful and you give me a hand or you get out of the way, right? I cannot pay my bills with your opinions. Your opinions do not comfort me when I'm crying. Your opinions do not keep me warm when it's cold. Your opinions do not feed me when I'm hungry. I don't have time to worry about your opinions, right? The Queen of Swords does not suffer foolishness at all. And so Taurus, a lot of you might be coming into these boundaries, especially those of you that are very busy. I feel like you're setting boundaries, not only in terms of people coming in with their little opinions, but you're setting boundaries in terms of people coming in and taking away your time taking away from your valuable time, 
right? Maybe you have a big exam. Maybe like, I know a lot of times people go to nursing school and nursing school takes so much time. And then after they're done with their classes, they got to study like crazy and they got to get ready for that big exam. Or maybe you're getting ready to take the state bar or, or some other thing that you're having to study for. Queen of Swords is coming in where you're like, I do not have time for your emergencies. I do not have time to sit here and listen to you cry to me on the phone about the same thing we've been talking about for three years and I keep giving you the same advice and you don't take the advice. I come in and I help you out of the situation. A couple of weeks go by and you go back to the same old situation. I can't do that anymore. I, can't, I, I need to focus on studying. I need to focus on getting my rest. I need to focus on my family. I need to focus on my relationship. Some of you might be setting boundaries within your own family or within your own relatives, but I feel like your time is precious and you're setting boundaries as far as people coming in and taking your time or your focus away from the things that you're doing to improve the quality of your life and your you know betterment of yourself. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those might resonate more for you than your sun sign. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Uh, if you have not watched the 2022 12 month forecasts, those are linked in the description of the video. Love and romance readings for January are linked in the description of the video. Uh, you should be seeing the February love readings pop up soon. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Have a wonderful week, Taurus. Take care.